you know, what are your thoughts? Four point three million pounds of taxpayers' money. It's a lot of money, isn't it? I wish they'd spent it on getting people out of fuel poverty and insulating our houses too, Claudia. But they're not. They're they're having to to spend it on keeping you off our roads. Well, if they'd have kept their manifesto promises, insulating homes was in their manifesto. The very first day we took to the roads, they really should have been able to see, say, don't be silly. It's in our manifesto. We've got a plan. Here it is. Get off the roads. We care. We care that Brits are dying from fuel poverty. We care about lowering our emissions and we'd have mm. stopped. So this is a message you have for the government, for Boris Johnson. So then why not protest outside number 10? Why not protest um, outside Parliament? We've been there and we got very little media coverage when we sat outside Parliament. Um, sadly, the state of our media is we have to disrupt enough ordinary people that media has no choice but to give us air time. I hate it. I so wish there was a different you're, you're way. You're trying to get media coverage in an attempt to, to get what from that media coverage? To get people to understand the very serious situation that we're in, Claudia. Like we said last time, Sir David King has said three to four years to start making changes or we're going to start hitting tipping points that we can't come back from. Now, insulation is one of the most no-brainer things to do, right? It will put £2 back into the economy for every pound you spend on it. It could save the NHS £1.4 to £2 billion every year. It could lower people's housing costs by £7.5 billion pounds a year if we get on with the Tracy, of this, these are all very, very admirable uh, causes that, that you're fighting for. But you said that you actually you protested, you protested outside Parliament. You didn't get very far. How far have you actually got protesting on roads, disrupting everyday it's people's lives? Come on, insulation has been talked about in a way it never has before, sure, but, right? But in terms of the, yeah. let's, let's go back to your initial aim here, which is to change government policy. How far have you got there? Well, we've not got very far, which is why we have to keep going back on the roads, isn't it? You know, that's the real problem here. Why are journalists like you hammering mums like me over wanting our government to do what they've said they'd do in their own manifesto? No, rather than I'm, getting... I'm talking to you about why you disrupt people's lives with the protesting well, that you do, and not just people's lives, but also it's costing us money, £4.3 million, because of the disruption you've, you you cause, you create, and you haven't got any closer to your aims in all of this and changing government policy. So you're wasting your time. People are getting arrested, <laughs> spending time in jail with, with all of this, disrupting people's lives, and you haven't made a single difference with what your aim is. Come on, that's not true at all. You know, the government don't seem to be wanting to get on with insulating at the moment, but there's lots of people coming out behind us, Ed Miliband, loads of people saying insulation needs mm. to be done. But that's it's not the government, is it? That's that's not the government. The government hasn't changed any policy because of your actions. Do you think you're having a serious discussion with me here? I mean, you're talking nonsense, right? Why do I have to sit on the road? Because the government aren't doing anything. Why aren't you cross with the government for not doing anything so, instead so of me? But Tracy, you're the one that's disrupting their lives. It's not Boris Johnson that's gone on the roads and then stopped people taking loved ones to the hospital. That's been you and your group. So I'm asking a very simple question. What change has hap actually happened off the back of all your protesting, all the disruption that you've caused? We're talking about it. People are understanding that insulation is the most no-brainer mm. thing to get on with. And that our That's not a change in government policy, though, is it? And <laughs> when people are talking, it's usually because of they're angry with you. You've lost a lot of support in all of this. That's not true. Our support has grown. Our campaign has grown. When they locked the first nine of us up, over 400 people took to the streets with this crowd, yeah. Over 140 people, many who'd never been arrested before, the sat people, down on the road. What about the people who were, who were stuck on the roads for hours? Do they support you still? Why aren't you more concerned with the thousands of Brits who are going to die from fuel poverty? Why aren't you more concerned that our government aren't doing anything to lower our emissions? Um, I'm very concerned about that. We're going to be talking about that later in the programme. But I'm just asking you, what difference have you actually made in all the disruption that you've caused uh, this year and all the money that it's cost taxpayers? by protesting on the roads? And the answer is none. That's that's why you can't answer the question. You've done nothing in terms of changing government policy. No, you're doing that again. You're saying that we haven't changed anything at all. And that's complete in nonsense. In terms of government policy. Blame the government for that bit, right? And while we're talking about this four point three million pounds, do you know that over a quarter of a million pounds was wasted trying to get this injunction through? Removing the jury from our legal system. 
over a quarter of a million pounds. That's so, a disgrace. Tracy, you're not doing yourself any favours. You're adding uh, more money in terms of how much you, Insulate no, Britain, not- has cost taxpayers in changing no. absolutely nothing when it comes to government policy and climate change. No, darling, that quarter of a million pounds is included in the 4.3 million. Do you read your own information? That you well, if, if, if it's included, why, why are you actually adding, why are you explaining more in terms of how much money you've been costing taxpayers? That's not that's not what um, people want. People want you to say, actually, we're going to stop all the disruption that you've caused um, over this year and change your change your tactics, change what you're doing, because it's not having any effect at all. No. Do you really think people don't care that they've spent over a quarter of a million pounds removing the jury from our legal systems? I know many, many people. What people really want to know, Claudia, is why? Why are journalists refusing to ask the right questions? You know, Tracy, why I think not- what people what people are concerned about is is the pandemic, is how much they're going to able to afford to maybe uh, look after their children, feed their children, get their children in schools if they're worried about their jobs in all of this. I don't think people are worried about what you're doing in the sense that you're, you're saying. What they're worried about is maybe if they're driving in London one day and their whole day being disrupted because of your group. No, that, that's short-term problems, isn't it? Lots of people have been These held up. These are important in... problems for people, Tracy. Are you going to let me finish a single sentence tonight? You know, I heard you and Christo giving me a really hard time before I even come on, and I very rarely get to finish a sentence with you. Answer my question. Have you changed government policy? You know we haven't. The government hasn't moved. But have we changed public opinion? No, yes. not have really. We... I, think you've lost, I think you've lost people. And I think you're being really ridiculous. Have you seen the film Don't Look Up yet, Claudia? No, I haven't. Well, I really think you should watch it and in a decade consider who your daughter's going to look back on A fictional film. You want me to to get my my advice and my guidance on climate change from, what, Leonardo DiCaprio? No, I'd like you to look at it and take some advice on how you hold this media space. You're in a chair with some real power. And you're making a real big mistake in the way that you're framing all of these things, Claudia. Do you Tracy, let me stand? All I've asked you is that your aim was to change government policy. My main question has been what change has there actually been off the back of your protesting, apart from costing government- taxpayers millions of pounds? But people are seeing how ineffective, how uncaring our government is, right? If the government got on with their job, we wouldn't need to be in that road. Now, some people like you may want to dig in and say, well, it's a pointless waste of time and you shouldn't do anything. We no, should just give that's up. That's not me saying that, Tracy. That's not me saying that. You, you, you've you, just outlined that the aim of Insulate Britain is to try to change government policy. And I've just pointed out that that hasn't happened. And yet you're still disrupting people's lives and you still continue to, to want to do that. Are, are you? Will you still be uh, blocking roads going into 2022? It's like having a conversation with the child, right? We have. We've Tell changed the national it. conversation around insulation. People in the industry couldn't get on your shows to talk about it for decades. It's not my fault that we have to block roads to get on the media. That would be the media's fault. It's the not my fault. The environment and climate change is one of the biggest <laughs> issues that, that journalists that cover every year, fault. Tracy. I didn't hear that, Claudia. You interrupted me again. Well, I was saying that climate change and and the environment is something that makes major major headlines uh, and journalists cover every year. Before Insulate Britain started blocking the roads, there's no point. We can't just talk about it, love, can we? We have to take some action. Any credible report will tell you the what place action, to fight. Tracy, what action have you taken? What difference have you actually made to the fight against climate change? We are raising the message that the government does not care for you. And it is not true to say that people are not hearing this message because people are, because they're okay. contacting us Tracy, and they're getting in Tracy, touch. what you've done, uh, you block cars on roads, which of course will mean uh, these vehicles will be shelling out all sorts of emissions that would cause, I'm sure, more damage to the environment. Uh, you've also cost the government £4.3 million, pounds, which is money that could also have been spent insulating people's homes. It sounds to me like you're damaging your cause, if anything else. You're damaging the need for us to get on with it. Journalists yeah, like you, right. no? I, I, cost, I cost taxpayers £4.3 million. Pounds. Complaining about emissions from stationary traffic is like getting upset with people for taking a pee in a septic tank, Claudia. Do you understand what a two-degree world looks like for our children? Have you got... Have you read any of the reports? And I ask you again, Tracy, if you are this worried about the environment and the damage it will have to all of our children, you have done nothing to change that. 
That is not true. We have got the fact that our government are not doing something in their manifesto, something that will pay for itself, that will get people out of fuel poverty, that will lower emissions. We have got people talking about that. And that is really important, right? Because we have to have these grown up conversations about how we deal with our planet becoming uninhabitable because we refuse to look at the physical reality of what putting all those emissions up into the air does. So we are talking about that. So that is progress. Now, if you don't like the fact that the government are still not doing what they said they'd do, join us. People, Come and sit people on the are also talking. People are also incredibly angry with with your actions, Tracy, and, and you don't have as much support when it comes to Insulate Britain that you that you might think. And in fact, somebody's uh, text just they have a question for you. Um, they're asking if you have your home insulated. Uh, this is coming from from Nasha. Do, is Tracy, coming- is your home insulated? Coming from somebody who's buying this media drivel, right? It's not about the individual, is it? This is about it working together. Is. If you're blocking the roads, blocking the everyday activities of people, including people trying to get loved ones to hospital, and you're not doing the very thing you're demanding, trying to force people to do, it kind of it kind of is important in all of this. No, loads of people cannot afford to insulate their own homes. This needs to be an infrastructure project on the scale that will put two pound back into the economy for every pound. Okay. That it costs. Why wouldn't you want to do that, Claudia? So, Tracy, Why don't you- uh, you've cost taxpayers £4.3 million pounds telling, calling on uh, people to insulate their homes and your home isn't insulated. Uh, Tracy Mulligan uh, from Insulate Britain. Uh, always interesting talking to you. Thanks so much uh, for talking to me.